Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to create mobile responsive menu bar in WordPress. So let's begin. All right. So to create the mobile responsive menu bar, first of all, what we have to do, we have to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here we have to search for responsive menu. Okay. So we have to install this menu responsive menu by express tech. So I've already installed and activated this. So after doing that, what we have to do, we have to go inside the responsive menu here. And here, what you have to do, you have to click on create new menu. So in here, you will be able to see that we are having the four different install themes. So you can simply go with any one of these themes here. But right now I'm going to go here with the default one. All right. So after that, you can also see the marketplace here and the save templates. And you can also see the menu settings here. All right. But right now we're going to simply go back to our select themes and let's just click on the next. And now you can see that we are into menu settings. So the menu settings, what we have to do, the first thing that you have to do is to write down the name of the menu. So I think I would write down responsive mobile menu. And here you have to choose that which menu that you have on your WordPress you want to use. So I have the three different menus here. So I'm going to go here with the default one, which is footer menu one. And after this, we also have the option to hide the theme menu by adding any valid CSS selector. But right now we're going to skip this because we don't need this. And after that, we have the two properties. The first one is the device visibility, which is actually the part of the provision. So I can't actually modify any of these things from here. And we also have the display conditions. So in the display conditions, we are only able to use uh, two options and other two options are actually the part of provision. So we have the show on all pages and we can also use it as a short code. But I'm going to select the default value, which is show on all pages because that is what I want. So now let's click on create menu. All right. So now this is how my responsive mobile menu would look like. So if I just click on this, you will be able to see that I have this mobile responsive menu on the mobile display. Okay. Similarly, we can have this on our tablet portrait. So if I just click on that, you will be able to see our menu here as well. But right now we're going to simply stick on the mobile design. So let's click on the mobile design again. Okay. So now the sidebar, as you can see that we are having the different options. So we have the mobile menu. We have the desktop menu, which is actually the part of provision. So which simply means that we can't use that or we can't modify that. And after that, we have menu styling. And after that, we have the header bar and then we have the themes and the settings. Okay. So we're going to explore each one of these one by one. Okay. So let's click on the first one mobile menu. So in the mobile menu, you can see this. We are having the two options. So we have the container and we also have the toggle button. So if I just click on the container, you will be able to see that in the container, we are having the different options. So we actually have the title. We have the additional content. We have the menu and we have the search. Okay. So if I wanted to disable the title, I would just simply disable it from here. And you can see here, this basically disable the title of our container. And if I wanted to disable the additional content, I can also do that. But right now I'm going to have the title because that is looking good. And if I wanted to have, let's say any additional content after the title, I can also add that. So let's just enable this right now. Okay. So if I just click on the title, you will be able to see that we are having a different options here. So we have the title text and then we have the link to that text. So if you wanted to add any link to your title, you can also do that. And you can also link target. So you can simply change the value from here. And after that, if you wanted to add the image to the title, you can also do this. And if you wanted to set the font icon, you can also do that. But right now I'm going to simply change the text here. So let's just say I'm going to remove the responsive here. And when I update this only after that, it will take the update. So we also have the styles. So in the styles, you can see this, we have the padding values. We have the background, we have the background hover. We have the font size and then we have the text alignment and then we have the font weight. And you can also see the different options here. Okay. So let's just say that I wanted to increase the font size here. So I'm going to simply change the values from here. Obviously you won't be able to see the change in the values right now, but now let's just update this. So for that, I'm going to simply close this and I would update this. 
and if I just click on my responsive menu bar, you will be able to see that I right now have the menu text that I have changed and also the increased font value. Okay. And similarly, we have the additional content. So in the additional content, you can simply add any text here and you also have the style. So in the style, you have the pairing, you have the font side, you have the text alignment and you have the text color. So if you wanted to change the text color here, you can also do that. So let's just say I wanted to change this to kind of grayish color. So I'll kind of go here with a kind of grayish color. So let's just decrease the color here to the grayish. This is looking good. Okay. And after that, we have the menu. So in the menu, first of all, if you want to disable this, you can simply disable this from here. But obviously we want to have this. All right. So in the menu, as you can see here that we are having the menu settings and we also have the menu container columns. So in the columns, you can see here we have the values from one to five. So if you want to change the value, you can simply do that from here. And if I just click on the menu settings, you will jump directly into the menu styling. OK, and here you can see this. We have the custom walker. And after that, we have the menu background and then we have the depth levels. But right now, I'm going to only change the menu background here. So if you want to change the background color, you can simply do this from here. OK, but right now I'm going to go here with a transparent background. OK, because that is what I want. And after that, we have the pairing. So if you wanted to add the padding, you can simply do this from here. And after this, we have the item icon, which is actually the part of Pro version. So we can't do anything about that. And after this, we have the item styling. So in the item styling, you can see this. We are having the item height and then we are having the line height. So I'm going to change the value of the item height here. So that would be 60 px, let's say. Now this is looking good. And we also have the line height. So I'm going to go here with the default value. And then we have the padding and you can see this. We are having the typography. So if I can increase the value of the text here, we can also do this. But I think the default value was looking good. So let's just go back to the default value. Yeah, perfect. And you can see this. We are also having a lot of the different options here. So if you wanted to align this into the center, you can also do this. So I think I would go here with the center alignment here. And after that, we have the letter spacing. Then we have the text color and then we have the background color and then we have the order. So if you wanted to modify any of these values, you can simply do that. And after that, we have the trigger icon. So in the trigger icon, this actually works on the sub menus. But right now we don't have the sub menu. That is why you can't see any of these shapes here. But you can see this. We are having these options of the width and the height and the position. So you can export these options as well. And after that, we have the animation. But that is also the part of Pro version. But in the last, we are having the behavior. So in the behavior, we have the different options here. So we have the item description. We have the use accordion. And you can also see the other options which you want to disable or enable. That is totally on to your choice. OK, so now we're going to go back. And after that, we have the search here. So in the search, we have the container. We have the style just like usual. And we also have the placeholder text and the custom search code, which I can't change from here. So in the search, we can only customize the styles here. OK. So in the styles, we have these similar kind of options that we have already discussed. But right now, I don't want to have the search here. So let's just disable this and you won't be able to see it. Perfect. Okay. So we also have these other options of the appearance and the behavior. So you can also explore that as well. Okay. And if I go back, you can see this. We are also having the option of the toggle button here. So in the toggle button, you have the button style and you also have the button position. So if you want to change the position of the button, you can also do this from here. So you have from left to right and you also have the position values. So you can simply play around with these values. But I'm going to go here with the default value. And after this, we have the button type. So in the button type, we have the hamburger, we have the icon and we have the image. OK, so if I just click on the icon, I can basically add the font icon and the active font icon here. OK, and after that, we have the image. So if you wanted to add the image onto your button, you can also do that as well. OK, so after this, we have the button text and then we have the button behavior. All right. But right now I'm going to go back into the button type and let's just change. Uh, OK, so let's just change the icon here. So on the active font icon, I'm going to change the icon here. So let's just click on this one. Click on select. You can see this. We are having this icon here. But I think I would go here with the default one. So let's just delete this. All right. So then I have to update this. All right. So perfect. Now this is looking perfect. So now we have to go back and we have to go back again. You can see this. We are having the menu selling, which we have already explored. And after this, we have the header bar and then we have the themes. So right now we have this default theme. 
but if you wanted to change the theme from here you can also do that and if i just go back here and in the last we have the settings so in the settings we have the general settings which we have already explored at the start of creating this menu so we're going to go back into the advanced setting here so in the advanced settings we have the menu breakout and then we have the animation speed if you want to change the animation speed you can also do this from here and after that we have the technical and the page overlay but which is actually the part of provision but right now let's just click on update and now we're going to go back to our wordpress dashboard because we have created our responsive mobile menu now let's click on visit site okay you can only see the mobile responsive menu on the mobile and the tablet version okay so i'm going to show you here on the mobile version all right okay so you can see here we are having this on the mobile version so if i just click on this you will be able to see your responsive mobile menu this is actually the tablet side okay so i'm going to change the dimensions here so i'm going to go here with any uh, mobile screen so let's click on this one all right so now if i just close this and if i just open this again you can see this this is how our mobile responsive menu bar is working all right and this is how we can create the mobile responsive menu bar in the wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel